Brand new territory for Poggers. They've never had to change their map pool. They play four maps because they've never had problems. Oof. Doc shaves one off on the fall, but gets damaged. Down pushes into Squeaky. Ooh, down he goes. Making sure that, of course, Lobby had been crunched. Lobanitsa flanking all the way around the silo. They never saw that coming. Bomb has been planted. Now Stown lies in wait. Bomb planted on B. Stown sits in the cubby of the vent, baiting him downwards. Sure enough, KD out for the count. Whoa! Loba with the uh -huh. drive-by. Okay. And the 2v2 ensues. Ramp control fully in the hands of Heroic. You kind of run up to the bomb right now. 10 seconds stick. Oh, I mean, uh, come on. <laughs> we gotta, definitely gotta get on. Oh, that. Okay, NT, NT. No. Yeah, that was a point where, uh, you know, the bomb planted there with the two. I guess they didn't know that two are on ramp. That's Maybe that's what it was. They thought one was in control. And here's a side view of Stown trying to hold it down. But there comes Loba swinging in. Meep, meep. Like the Roadrunner bouncing around. Like he's got moon boots. Heroic fired up for winning a pistol versus Poggers. The absolute state of Counter-Strike at the moment. <laughs> Force up from the CTs featuring a Mag 7 on Oscar. Heroic may be playing at the Major, but EG are legends. <laughs> so, what does anything mean? A little bit of damage on the cross, but still three players waiting inside of Lobby with the bomb. Loba goes in for the info. Oscar, yes, sir! Double Mag 7 kill. And now what's left of Heroic, a measly three players, has to find its footing and an exit onto a site. Oh. Good damage off of the Deagle, but not quite enough. Back to the 3v3 until Heroic have seemed to chop one down. Tessas barely alive. Shush on three quarters HP and Stown locked into the lobby, just turned his attention oh. away and was spotted. But the problem is Oscar can't really come into the mix until this Deagle, if this Deagle, gets his kill. We've got players prime for the plucking, ripe for an upset in this 1v3 retake attempt. But Oscar has to consider the value of this AK. So sure enough, Poggers, they'll give Heroic a run for the money. They'll make them a little nervous. But Poggers are going to concede this second round and give Heroic a 2-0 start. Nova. Nova Scotia. Ooh. Quick door open, looking for the peak. Smoked out. Katie will be offered no info. No chance to pull one off of the mini side. The MP9? No way. Loba just get a jumping smoke spam MP9 yes, kill? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. I don't... I don't think that's supposed to happen, but a lot of today's game is not supposed to happen. Tess catching a kill outdoors. Oscar stops the first one inside of the mini, but now this A site is very much contested, and it's just KD left over. Deagle kill kind of slows them down for a moment, and he's going to reposition just as quickly as they do, doubling back for Shush to grab bomb. KD wastes no time. Imagine if they go down the vents. No, okay, it looks like they might not. This would have been a great rotation, but Katie's actually wrapped very quickly to the back of the hut. Bomb has been planted. And we'll see if he has the reeds. Gets his hands on an AK. And because that terrorist just pushed into lobby, if he goes and clears vents, then... Oh, man. The only reason Poggers are disadvantaged in this map is because people refuse to play nuke in FPL. It's an issue of the scene, not of Poggers. Nope. Loba has to run away. Nice attempt at a 5-7 frag, but isn't able to shave off Shush. I hate that spot. Just inside the garage? Right there in the corner. Mm. But Poggers are too smart to play there. They draw an incendiary out. Molotov. Ooh, Oscar kicks it off. Now, now Shush turns his attention, but the ramp player pushes into the back of him. So, decent enough trades and an AK procured. Another pistol kill from spawns. Maybe they're just letting it get to the harder rounds. 
2v4, 2v5, eco round. Pockers. More damage dealt. Cadian's been spotted. However, Heroic do have a pinch on this ramp player. Mind you, Tessa's actually quite delayed and spawn. Two Deagle kills on this round. Pogger is sending a message. They're going to rob this one out of the hands of Heroic. Where did it all go wrong? They all died in their own damn spawn. Playing bumper cars. One more Deag for the road. They'll send KD off to save. We'll have to go back to the strap book. Way deep into it. So I'll have to dig deep to win this next round. But for now, it's Pogger Supremacy. It's a nice shot. It's good. <laughs> Tech 9 played from Refresh. He is one of three pistol players, so the economic woes made apparent here versus Heroic. Good luck versus the double ops. There's just one. KD69Z. Starting us off with the 5v4, and that's an AK. An AK that will not be picked back up. Because the only three players who can upgrade guns are already downstairs. Spawn with the jump spot. Loba kills Kadian, so that's both AK-47s nice. down with zero impact. All they can offer us is a burst into the B bomb site, but KD... What the hell? You have to bike everywhere. You have the bike. Interesting turn of events. Look how scared they've got Heroic. Oh my god. They've got him in the palm of their hand, sweating. Whoa! Loba spams down the bomb carrier. Spawn's gonna get tested. Double kill for him. And the extension out from Doc should put a cherry on town. That was not me. <laughs> I am going to get blamed for that. Because <laughs> you make all the noises. So. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. That was launders. No ops. Ooh, oh, very fast. fast. No. I like that. Disrespect them. Wow, two inside mini. I don't think I expected to see that. No, definitely but not. This is the solution. Now Doc gets the dry peak, but he falls at the hands of Refresh. A lot of damage done by Doc, but just not enough to kick it over the line. KD69... Yeah, it would have been kind of a different world. Dock off that with 3v3, slowed things down a bit, but instead, uh, Poggers are left with two ops, which obviously is not the not the not the not the two best weapons you want in a retake. There's some banter. You can hear it. You know it's banter. <laughs> I haven't heard an all chat this active for quite some time. Yeah. You know the great part about downloading demos? Yeah. You get to see all the banter. Oh, really? Yeah, you get to see all the banter. <clears throat> hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Yeah. <clears throat> may or may not be worth your time. In fact. Nothing but positives, really. Another round with no ops to the T side. But they like their mobility. Ooh. Yeah. And I think speed could actually play into their strength, right? Make them uncomfortable. It's good rotation, though. Just make them as uncomfortable as possible. There's, you know, poggers do not play nuke. Literally don't play it. They don't play ancient either. Or overpass. That's the amount they have left to give. As a relatively undefeated roster. Ooh, Doc missed shot, giving a bit more space to Heroic. And sure enough, they're going to smash their way into the A site. Loba's on the rooftops. His teammates in need. Uh-oh. A little weak upstairs. Yeah. They got silo control, though. And Doc. that down. Doc's still alive. Mm-hmm. Was hunting as Refresh doubled back around the mini. Loba drops into it. And Ooh. can manage the kill versus Shush, but Kadian trades it straight away. Tessa's going to be trying to guard the high ground. Oh! On the money! Tessa's blown into tomorrow. Oh. KD gets the back of the squeaky player. That's info. 
Stown's gonna be magnetized closer towards Mini. It's a man advantage for the retake. Bomb halfway gone, and sure enough, the backstab comes through. It's gonna have to be Kadian versus the double ops. Oscar up above. Fire on Yo. his feet, and Oscar hits that. They gotta get on top of Bomb, but the kit? Oh, that it's close. Is coming down to the wire, but I think they might have it. Oh my god, that's literally his exit. Hog stalking him. Oh, insanely fast vent play with two as well. And uh, Tess has to put some pressure down outside, but they take some damage. Tess ends up getting killed. Ooh, doesn't take the shot. Yeah. Two kills back for Heroic. Not to mention a very quick B plant, so not as if Heroic have been all too stunned by that last one. Save? Only three up. Yeah, they had lost two players already. Ooh, and... late walkout from Vent. Oh, there'd be no saves here. Yeah. Heroic just playing with an element of nonsense. They're all over the place. They're everywhere at the same time. And yet that's enough to smother Poggers in the pressure of a well-crafted T-side nuke. That was good. The double play down the vents safely. Took no damage. And uh, obviously there's a number of ways to stop the vent drop. Sometimes getting in the vents is actually the best way. Uh-oh. Got a save, got a okay. save, got yeah. a save. And a little further down that list, you got Loba. Nading out the squeaky door, and it's going to be a high-octane, high-pressure play into the A site. Disrespect. Kadian and Shush, two kills. Now the 4v3. Flash into the back of the site. Uh, I think we got to call it quits, yeah. don't we? Too good of a rush. Wrap the site with Hayes, got that first kill, and then uh, an op in the back of the site means not much mobility. Too easy to clamp down on him. And unfortunately for the rest of the team, they're going to be saving in the same spot. Herrick tried to challenge them last time, so they wouldn't have to deal with those guns this time, but they uh, didn't get both ops. Now it looks like they they might come in for it, but they're a bit far behind. Okay, maybe we'll test it. <laughs> try it again, try it again. Layering the flashes. Ah. Some of the most tactical gameplay of the entire round. Buying. They've done well with the money. The, the amount that they've saved, just there the one go. or two players here or there, and they still have the two ops to play with. It's all about so. silver linings. We'll, we'll see how much, Heroic, how much respect Hero give them in this round. Maybe they won't expect the amount of tire power that is available. There we go, kind of a preemptive vent drop. I think Doc may have seen a rifle sticking out over top of the mini. There it is. Wow, quick shot. Very nicely done. Downstairs. Oh, but they don't expect the timing on the lurk down, and Kadian opens ramp up along with downstairs. Yeah, two, two very instant frags. Doc. Ooh, oh! Gets the better Holy, of Kadian. What a shot. Now we're back to the 2v2, not to mention KD. He was able to get his frag elsewhere. And that bomb flew forward right into the front of Turnpike. Shush is a little nervous. He still has refresh to rely on downstairs, can lean down into B. Trying to wall bang through the floorboards. This is ambitious uh, rotation down. Yeah, that's 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 but alive. It's, it's still it's alive. One, yeah. Timing for Shush. As he comes up from behind. Poor KD doesn't know he's being stalked, but Shush gives up. Alive, but not likely. Smoking a flash, or nade in a flash. Mm -hmm. Might not, not be enough. Yeah. 50 HP, and unfortunately, time is the biggest issue. So KD realizes he needs to concede it, but sure. On pistols. Some would say we're poggers are the strongest. Wouldn't be the first time they've made something from nothing. Gonna try to throw that M4 against the offense outside. Already four players here. Doc good for two. Almost a third, but it's still a bit of help for Refresh to work with. And that's where Spawns is going to drop him. 4v2 advantage, but it's all about the guns. Oh, okay. okay. That's the bomb carrier on top of it. So Stown's 1v4 clutch attempt made that much more complicated as Spawns gets his hands onto an AK-47. Spawns has offered us something here on map two that we didn't get to see in the first. Yeah, yeah. Trying to keep up toe to toe with Doc. Uh, maybe their map pool is growing right before our eyes. 
down now, down to half, and spawn's gonna go Mirage. Inferno being a fourth. Couldn't beat him there either. Kadian with dual Berettas. Triple AK force buy. Oscar. Mm, yeah, doesn't like the angle. Okay, falls back immediately before they even show him a thing. Docs here uh, inside the turnpike. They've actually got two to stop this ramp push, so they're uh, pretty well set up. Ooh, Lots three. Of oh my god! <laughs> Everybody just runs right into it, and it works. Is that a thing? I mean, they had three people pushing turnpike with one on the on the ramp. Like, uh, could you be red any more any better than uh, what just happened there? Heroic had no business going ramp in that position. And I don't think Cadian has enough guns. Listen, if we could explain genius, we'd also be geniuses. So I'm not going to bother trying to explain this. There's two things I want done before the Major. The Fair first enough. one is drain the water from the ancient spawn. And the second is to center the dual Berettas. Uh, I, uh, Look at this uh, right uh, lean. Uh, uh, oof, yeah. What is this? Yeah, top yeah. view model. Starting off versus some of Dan Denmark's best. Daneland. Daneland. Ugh. It's weird being back in Denmark. We were in Ukraine for a little while. I, I landed in Copenhagen and I started speaking Russian to everybody. They looked at me odd. Das Vidanya. Spasiba. He was saying to everybody. Like, Wait a second. I was like, why does everyone keep hitting me? <laughs> and not on me. At me. Oh! <sighs> NA movement. NA movement. Stown gonna try to play on extra hard mode. Look how slow they're playing. So scared. This is respect we'd like to see. Like little babbies. Hiding in the lobby. Oh my god. Okay, for a second I thought Lobo was outside. I was like, how does he always get on the roof? But no, he's above the hut door. Upstairs is just fine. They couldn't have better spots. Look at the reeds. They know what's coming. They've watched the demos. As if they pick this map. Utilities start to get thrown out. 20 seconds left. Ooh, it's a good flashbang. Loba's just good for the one. Dox comes into the mix. Stown's got to swap out to the M4. No way. Oh. Bomb gets dropped by Oscar. One below. Oscar knows. Bomb has to get planted. He's looking to go down on the other side. Let's see if he gets chased. Oscar coming through. Oh, oh great timing, close. but he hasn't got the kill. Oh, and now the wide flare. Oh, okay, he's Oscar got finds it. it. Yes, from the top ropes. In the upper sight for that hold. Yeah. They knew where the sight back to back 8 7 first half. They usually do. They usually do in the first half, especially versus Heroic. Well, that array of flashbangs flies into the A site. We've got the Molotov Prime for HUD as well. More and more utility just soaring into this upper site. Doc's gonna hold the line with at least one. Tess and Shush turning it upside Ooh, down. Cadian's got the close inside of Lobby. And Oscar omnipresent and done. You're done. Enjoy your trip. Because it's all you've got left. Mm -hmm. Let's see that T side, baby. Anything can happen. In the last round, Cadian said, You've played 11,000 hours of Counter Strike and you don't know two out of seven maps. And Loba said, no, I don't know four out of seven maps. <laughs> and here we are on Nuke. Just using this, using this round, Oscar needed extra time on the break. Oh, Beretta's down with just the one. Imagine getting less kills than you had guns. <laughs> Ooh. Tessa's gonna keep the dream alive. Looking to hang on to that lead. Refresh gets gushed on the drive-by. A little bit of chip damage versus the three Poggers players that are still up. 
but Heroic welcomed them downstairs. Pogger says, screw you. Start our own party up on A. However, Stown gate keeps the doorway, and it looks like he's got it all, but Oscar coming in late to the pistol, coming alive down in the depths of hell. However, 25 seconds left to make his play. Anticipating someone in heaven, but that's not the case. <laughs> Wayne Gretzky. Michael Scott. Tech Nines, Deagles in the mix for the Poggers T side. But again, this is a gang of Danes who have been at the very top of Counter Strike, and they're playing on Nuke. They survived the test of Mirage thanks to some Cadian opping antics. And I think the reward for Heroic is that they get to batter and bruise a bunch of nuke noobs. As said by Loba himself. Thomas of Tessess about to be challenged towards ramp. He fades away after just the first one. And he looks to tuck into cover, but he gets oh. gunned down by the Tech-9 of that all things. That was fast. What? And Loba's going to get up into heaven. Oh, oh my god. He's gotten away unspotted. They they, they actually can't lose this round. They actually can't lose. They have upstairs and down. They took both sides. Well, that is not the split of a bunch of noobs. The only things getting split are the A site and these CT skulls. Loba, two Tech-9 kills as he works his way from heaven to hell. And he's already tricked the CTs into going lower. Heaven back to hell again. What were you saying earlier? I was saying that Poggers, <laughs> they've <laughs> waited to play on mm -hmm. Nuke mm -hmm. because they yeah. have a seven-map pool. The last time that Poggers played a map for the first time, they won. What map was that? Inferno. Okay. <laughs> so now their pool only expands. That frustration, baby. That's when you're scared it all might be over. I don't know about keeping global CS alive. Mm -hmm. Really helped us out with the all night era. God damn, did it ever. Now the CTs try to buy back. Leaves them with two Deagles, two MP9s, and a Fomus. Tessess almost a dead man. Lucky that Oscar's not able to get that last bullet on top of it all. Poggers looking to tie this game. Ooh, Tessess. Uh, Finished uh, off. Uh. Come back for second servings. No more lurking. Mama just closed the cookie jar. Stown is the only player positive on Heroic. Refresh. Yeah, he wants this fight. Yeah, they didn't anticipate him to push out from secret, but he doesn't actually get the kill, and now he's locked in behind red, so he better go all in. If you're gonna bluff, you gotta go all in. Refresh. Well, he kind of has Poggers fold back onto lobby because they've got the lower sight. CTs rota rotate down vents. KD would have just heard those players arriving. Still time to settle in. 20 seconds to spare. Double door is soon to swing. Bomb being planted by Doc. It's covered by the two players above him. Loba mows him down. KD also onto the kill feed, and Stown is stranded up in garage with nothing to shoot at. Would you look at that? I know they're not so close round. Poggers tying at nine. If Poggers win yes. this map, I yes. will shave your head. <laughs> Whoa, hold on a second. Deal? No. If Poggers win this map, I will shave your head. I promise. Deal. <laughs> deal? Don't look at me like that. You said deal? Don't look at me Wait, like that. Wait, did you agree to that? I... <clears throat> Cat, you heard that? It's impossible, right? Let's see how Connor looks in a wig. <laughs> There's pick stabilize the CT side. They, they were upset in the 17th. They were caught off. They are simply stabilizing. There's no reason to panic. No reason to worry. No reason to pog. Yet.
Should we start talking about the third map now, or? I'm not nervous. Okay. Sound nervous. Yet. Solo AK for Stown, where is that placed? It's playing it over on ramp room, so... If they head in that direction, maybe they are in for a world of hurt, but... Pogger's just playing it passive. Starting to double a second player outside, maybe looking for some kind of an ambitious push, but looks like Heroic are just going to lean back. You do love a slow, composed default. Someone... Oh. All right. Okay. okay. That's dirt. Oh, Refresh misses this one. Dirt nasty. Wait a second. Will he get cleared? Maybe not. Oh, he... Okay. Oh, KD is my not God. All right, all right. It's just the pistols looking good. KD and Spawns looking to stop the upset. Here in the 19th round, 30 seconds, A1S into the mix. Two CTs still up above the A site, but they could just dive down vents, and sure enough, they do. That's the emergency evacuation plan that they have to lean back on. Bomb plant behind site. KD will be locked into this position. Stown solo AK as Shush gets his hands on a second. Oh, it could be all they need. But KD on for the clutch. He's got two-thirds his health left over, and he feels like he's being boxed in because he is. And sure enough, Heroic going to alleviate a little bit of pressure. The pistols pay off as Kadian comes in with the two head pops, double deagle, refresh, P2, Fitty, and the clutch down on B yeah. for the Heroics. 10-9 scoreline. Are Heroic going to chill out now? No, because Poggers have a full buy. Stabilization phase. Stability has been found. Should be easy for Heroic, a team who knows all about Poggers. Oh, wait. Nobody knows about Poggers. If you know, you know. Cadian was the reason that Heroic were able to hang on on Mirage. Crucial impact with that op, but he's only found the one this round. They're getting down lower fast. That's the op down. Cadian. You know, was kind of a, expected to be able to live or fall back, so it, it is a timing, but for Refresh, disrespect it. Oh my god, he gets all the way in there. <gasps> Nearly three kills for him. But it is clawed back. Despite spawns on 6 HP, Doc could still offer us something special. Both of the terrorists drop down onto the floor, and Doc has lost his teammate, so now he needs to clutch. Onto his pearls. And the chance of winning this. Both CTs here towards Decon. Doc, oh, not able to react fast. No. Fast one, maybe? Nope. Not so much. T side just sitting back. A couple of players with Kevlar who could benefit from a gun, but they're not going to find one. Not in this round. Three players down already. Ooh, wee! Well, that's one weapon, if they want to go play it. There's another counter-terrorist already downstairs on B, but they've got more than a minute to work. And I feel like these are the kinds of rounds you do exactly that. You let Doc work. Mid-rounds on Nuke are some of the most interesting. But... Ah, off-angle from Kadian. Yeah, that's a great spot. He's going to be hunted by Doc. He dodges the flash, comes back, and falls. Wide score line of 12-10 off the buy, but this time Loba's only got his Tech 9. No often play here for the T side. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Stown picks it up. Loba's actually pretty sick with the Tech 9, but he dies to Stown. That's two kills to the lobby player. Oh, I think... Oh, Refresh, he was, yeah, he was spotting, but he got his kill. Oh, god damn, Refresh. No way. Holy. Dives into the doorway and still turns it upside down. Doc 1v3 clutch, bomb in the full possession of Refresh. Ah, and caught by the Heaven player, but Doc recovers with a couple of taps. Poggers have won uh, three deagling rounds in this map already. Which makes you feel like maybe they can do it again. Yep. Or have Heroic finished stabilizing at which point they will simply soar forward at the showdown the winner of the blast spring season i'm talking all the way through to the finals clean sweep was gambit they only began their ran 
or run at the showdown. Didn't drop a map. Swept away everybody. Perhaps Heroic are doing exactly that by stealing away the soul of Poggers. They could be on for a final spot, but right now, right now they are still under question because Oscar Tech Nines into the ramp room, gets that 4v4, back the hands of Shush. What? What? Who? Who? The game goes on. <laughs> KD gonna go ahead and bomb plant down at the B site. This is a wild round. You said that they've already won with Deagles. Well, they're looking to do exactly that yet again. AK upgrade for Doc. Two CTs on vent side. Cadian, an eventual flank down ramp. And unfortunately for the players in sight, they don't have weapons yet, but oh. Doc recovers vision fast enough to shut down Shush. And now Stown's gonna be attacked from both sides. They need Cadian in on the mix. And eventually he's gonna get here, you'd think, or does he just want to save the op? If Poggers can win more rifle rounds, or as many rifle rounds as they can win rounds with damn Deagles, they're still on for a run here in Nuke. However, Bomb pops off, that's double digit. In that opening side kill, sometimes they just get two somehow on in different spots and using Loba as a lurk. He's been a great lurker. Oh, but this is a, such an aggressive look, but it is, it is a, you know, it's held properly for a push right now with Oscar sitting back here and one outside uh, in the top of the lobby. If there are more players here, it might get too cramped, but in this spot, we'll see if Heroic can actually win. But as soon as one's spotted, I think maybe the push comes through. Oh, oh and it doesn't get punished either. Nope. And then Cadian's postured. Oscar in with an answer, but maybe a little too little, a little too oh. late. Tessas with the homing missile of a frag grenade will not allow for him to retreat. And then the last player smoked off. Poor Doc. Being held on this angle. Tech. One scout, one AK. Tech nines and a Deeg. Limited utilities, poggers against the ropes. But you gotta be careful with caged animals. No doubt Loba's an animal. That Tech 9 has torn through a couple of setups. He's gonna have to do it yet again. Doc taking damage. Spawn's already Ooh. dead. Stown more concerned with outside than inner, and as he should be. That is the first face of Pogger's threat. And it gets wrecked. Doc entries towards ramp. Tess has popped in the background. And now they've got themselves an open route down towards B. Bomb plant could make things interesting, but we've seen Refresh really shut down these kinds of hopeful moments. And sure enough, he's got his name back into this one. Not swinging the doors, but just shutting down the control push. Very comfortably sat behind that door, but his barrel gets spotted. They swing back the other way, and they've got it. To be able to afford some of the utility that he's got in play, they've got the op on Doc. She was offing a little bit on the CT side. But I think Poggers can really think about bringing Nuke into the pool. Pull out one or two more rounds. Ooh, Stown doesn't like that one. Here we go again. Dude, how is Loba just like, he's got like, he's, he's got eco buff. He's got good timings. He's actually got good timings. That's the dancing skills. Yeah. Good timings, good rhythm. Right. Plays to the beat. Yeah. Nobody listens to techno, so let's go. Thing is, can they open up versus Stown and then extend to an 11th? I think every round at this point, just one more dose of respect for showing up and keeping a series that I wasn't going to take serious. Somewhat competitive. Katie and Tessas locking down the ramp, the off omnipresent, but oh, we hit Doc him. is in. And despite the low HP, it's a 2v2 regardless. Doc gonna bust through the control room, nice. trying to get ahead of the stairs player, but Refresh cuts him down, and Refresh has been the king of lower bombsite. It's KD69Z with two CTs live.